Me, Rickasa46, and welcome to another LEGO set review on an improvised platform. Um, this is LEGO set 75179. And interestingly enough, this is actually the first donated set I've ever gotten on the channel. Um, thank you to Raging Roxas for letting me borrow his set. Um, I'll link his channel down in the description. He basically does Roblox videos and whatnot. While I'm personally not really into Roblox. Well, yeah, I stopped playing it a long time ago, but hey. If you find his videos interesting, then go check them out. Oh, I'll have to check them out to see if they're interesting. Anyways, let's just get to the minifigures. Here's Kyle Ren himself. With the lightsaber cross. Which I really wish Lego would remold into something better. I mean, Solid Brick Studios already did it. And there's this... There's actually a... There's the scar on his face. Which was actually... It was actually a whole lot darker than that. It was actually completely black in the movie. Um... Sorry for the background noise. Um, this is the pretty much the stock first order trooper. He has standard blaster and stuff, standard back print, and now this is a first order pilot. I actually really like his. I actually really like his printing. It's nice. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Imperial pilot. Then again, the first order was pretty much designed to be a better version of the Empire. Um, here's a droid that I can't even remember the name of, but oh well. It's basically BB-8 with a darker color palette and an R4 astromech droid head on it. Now on to the fighter itself. Um, those of you who have watched the original trilogy would notice the resemblance this Poses to the TIE Interceptor. Essentially speaking, just make the cockpit a ball and these wings a bit shorter and you'll have one. This thing's actually really well armed. I mean, you got two laser cannons up there, um, two on these, one, these things, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cannons compared to the TIE Interceptor's six. And I really like what they did here with the glass. Cockpit's kind of small though. It's got the first door logo. Camera flashlights kind of getting in the way. I really like the engine thing, although I dare say the Millennium Falcon did it better. Whoops, knocked over something. Yeah, that's pretty much the outside. When you can get onto the inside, there's a small cockpit there, and you can see, I wish you could, out to there. I can't really do it holding a camera, but hey, if you ever get the set, I suggest you try it. So anyways, that's pretty much the whole set. I honestly really think it's cool, and... Pretty movie accurate, surprisingly. I think it's actually minifigure scale. Um, so, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, which hopefully is going to be the Y Wing. See you all later. Goodbye.